Um, I'm going to be doing a review of South Park, the movie. Um, yeah, it's an old, older movie, 99. I'm sure most of you have already seen it, but whatever, I'll review it anyways. I plan to do a South Park movie review, then a Simpsons movie review, and possibly a Family Guy movie review. Uh, to make this make sense. <laughs> um, so, what do I think about it? Well, it's a musical. Um, let me just shut the door really quickly. I'm always paranoid. Um, as if someone walks in, I was just my show. I have to refilm it. Um, it's a musical, and it's about, you know, it was made during the third season of the show. Um, it's, uh, what do I think of it? It's pretty good. I actually really, really like it. Um, now, some people have argued that it's not a good representation of the show. And I would say that's a good representa representation of the earlier years of the show, like when it was made. But it's not like much. The movie isn't similar to how it is the show is now. But you can't count that as a flaw because they can't see the future. <laughs> um, the songs are actually really, really good, which, I, which surprised the hell out of me. My only complaint with the songs is that I wish they went longer. Like Uncle Fucker and uh, Uncle Fucker and um, what's the other one? Blame Canada. Cause got another three minutes that I would have been fine with it. Cause I really love those songs. Um, it's really weird. I noticed in this movie, like how? Well, let me just get to the Saddam Hussein. I loved how they did Saddam Hussein. Um, it is like they, you could tell they were like, we gotta really like, uh, we gotta just like make the most horrible. We gotta make if Saddam. Their goal was if Saddam Hussein ever watches this, he'll be extremely angry and horribly embarrassed. And they did that perfectly. This is like the biggest insult to anybody ever. Um, what, I could think of like 20 things they did like to insult him. One, he has a really annoying voice. Two, he's uh, short. Three, he's gay. Uh, four, he's gay with Satan. He has a relationship with Satan himself. Five, Satan's the sensitive one. Six, He's always wanted sex from Satan. That's like the best insult that you could pot. It's just so perfect how they, how they uh, represented him in this movie. Um, it was just great. Uh, <laughs> um, I really kind of like, I don't know if I kind of like it. Like, I think Cartman had a perfect role in this movie. It wasn't all about Cartman, and it wasn't ignoring Cartman either. Like, it wasn't just like a... Like, it seems nowadays that I love Cartman. Cartman's probably my favorite character on the show, next to Butters. Um, Cartman, uh, but I feel like he's like the main focus of every episode. I like him better when he's kind of in the background at times. In this movie, he's kind of in the background, like he's still a character, but he's not the main focus. Like if they made him now, he'd be the villain of the movie. I can promise you that. Um, my my main complaint is that I wish I could have seen more Butters in this movie. But that's not a flaw in the movie at all, because, um, well, Butters wasn't really fully fleshed out until, wasn't really a character until season four or five, I think it was four. Like, he didn't really get a personality, he was just a background character uh, until season four or five. Uh, he only has a line in the movie, and it's, like, muffled in the background. Um, I love Butters. It, ironically, the only episode I don't like, uh, like, that features Butters. I usually love episodes that feature Butters, but the only episode I don't like that features Butters is, ironically, Butters' is our first episode because, um, it was, like, really, like, disturbing. I love dark humor. Like, I'm not like, oh, you can't laugh at that. Um, but they rep represent it in a way that it was just too realistic. I'm sitting here like, oh, my God, that could happen to someone's family. Like, Butters' mom goes crazy. She tries to kill him. Her... I didn't, it was just, if it was represented differently, I would have laughed harder. Just, I felt like it was too, like, realistic. Um, but there was one brilliant line in that episode that I remember, I'm in tears every time I hear that. Uh, Butters' dad goes, uh, Butters, you know, I, I always said it's bad to lie, right? He goes, yeah, sure thing, Dad. And he goes, well, um, he goes, sometimes it's okay to tell a little white lie. Like, if you catch Daddy jerking off in a gay bathhouse. Uh, I thought that was hilarious. Um... Uh, I love Butters, because he's like, the thing about Butters is that he's the, um, he's the nicest little kid in the world that's like shit for everything. 
he gets in trouble for every little thing. He doesn't even do half of it, and, and he's still nice afterwards. Like, uh, he's like, oh, I need to behave myself. He's he's great. I love Butters. Um, sorry, my garage. Um, back to the movie. Sorry. I do think that the plot is perfect, even though it's like the same plot from the episode Death. Uh, which is in season one. It is a good plot. And I like how Sheila Brafoski gets a main role in the movie because you don't see, like, I think more movies of TV shows should give smaller characters bigger roles. And they did for uh, her. Songs are fantastic. Uh, I really liked Terrence and Phillip, but no one seems to like Terrence and Phillip. Like, everyone's like, oh, it's just a bunch of farts and swearing and stuff. That's what Terrence and Phillip are. But they don't get the genius of the Terrence and Phillip character. Character, sorry. Because there's South Park and South Park world. Like, they're how people perceive South Park. People are like, oh, South Park's just a bunch of farting and swearing. Terrence Phillip is what's with crappy animation. Like, Terrence and Phillip is their, is South Park South, uh, well, stereotype South Park. Even though South Park's actually a lot smarter than people give it credit for. Um, it's a great movie. I really recommend it. Uh, what I'd like to see is, I hope that, well, I don't know about sequel. I think they was fine how it is. I think it stands a long time. It's good. It's, it definitely does stand alone, like a lot of its own movie. It's not like only for the fans of the show. Like you could just walk in and think, "Hey, that was a pretty funny movie," and never know that TV show this was made. Um, so definitely check out the South Park movie. Uh, also, I do like the explanation for like why the swearing's increased so much in the movie. Like they saw the Terrence Fuller movie. Uh, oh, there's not much I need to come. I do like Satan's character. Satan, they hand. I like how the well, show in general, ha handles Satan. It's a really unique take on Satan. Like, he's all sensitive and nice and stuff. I would have liked to see an appearance by Jesus. I, I was waiting for that. It never happened. Um, I, love I also love Jesus in South Park. He's hilarious. Uh, no, uh, if you, you see the, well, if you see the episode Super Best Friends, he's like a fraud. He's like, he's like okay, I'm going to turn this water into wine. Here's the water. Um, turn around, please. And he, like, takes glass of wine and puts it on the table. He's like, ta-da! It's like, wow, people were so tri tricked easily 2,000 years ago. Uh, I love this, but you don't see him in the movie. Which I think that'll be my main co only complaint to this movie. I, I want an appearance by, appearance by Jesus, because uh, it was Satan. I was like, okay, where's Jesus? Um, I do, I definitely recommend this movie. It's really funny. Um, I, songs are fantastic. I mean, Trey, uh, well, Matt Stone maybe, but Trey Parker pretty much all the episodes definitely credit he a songwriter really good these songs are they're funny but they're too damn short i, I wish they were like three minutes longer all right thanks